when the narcissist regrets playing you. The narcissist showed interest in you, but they were giving you false hints to play with your emotions. They pretended to like you so that they could get something out of it that you wouldn't normally give them. They deceived you. And you may wonder if they will experience the same kinds of things that they have caused you to experience. You may wonder if they will be able to replace you. You may wonder if they will move on and find what they're looking for after they drained you and tried to destroy you. What you do with other people will eventually come back to you. Your future consequences are inevitably shaped by your present actions. So they may move on. They may find someone else. They may create a new character. But everything that happens to them will always be a result of things that they have done in the past, which isn't going to be anything good because they know the wrong they've done. And when they're running away, they're trying to escape the consequences. They're trying to escape the results and effects of their actions. They're running from themselves. They're running from the damage and destruction that they have left behind because they don't want to get caught in the blaze. They don't want to experience the undesirable effects of that which they have caused. So they remove themselves physically because they believe there won't be any consequences. They blame you to absolve themselves from guilt, obligation and punishment, but they don't realize that there is a spiritual aspect to it. They don't realize that they're bringing negative results upon themselves. But karma does exist and there will be unwelcome consequences for their actions. I've seen it happen many times in the past. The energy they put out always comes back to them in the end, even if they think they've moved on, even if they think they're safe. They will end up in a more difficult and unpleasant situation than before they left you. It's only a matter of time. But they're constantly trying to gain an advantage through other people. They're trying to find people to take care of them. They habitually exploit and rely on other people. So they're looking for people to provide them with what they need when they already had what they needed. They had you. You were their grade A source of supply. But they messed it up because they're maladaptive. They refuse to adjust themselves to new conditions. They refuse to take accountability. Instead, they blamed you and then they moved on thinking that they could do better than you, which left you hurt and confused because you gave everything you had to them. You thought you were building something with them. 
You thought you had a future. But this is just a part of the process of your healing and development. It will only make you stronger and better in the end. You have to go through the trials and tribulations to become better than who you were. But they will never find better because they refuse to take accountability. They will search for you in another person, but they will never find you. Even if they found the perfect person, it wouldn't matter. It wouldn't make a difference. They would only end up damaging them because they're damaged. So all they can do is damage other people just as they did with you. And that really is their karma. They don't see it. But what they did to you is a part of their karma. They're already experiencing it. And even though they may try to find someone to replace you, it's not going to last for long. It might go well for them in the beginning, but eventually it's going to die out because they're going to interfere with it. They're going to cause disturbances and problems and then it's going to be no good for them. But they're not going to let you see it. They're not going to let you see what they're going through. They're masters of manipulation. They know how to create an orchestration. They know how to plan and coordinate the elements of a situation to produce a desired effect. They're not going to let you see them hurt. They're not going to let you see them suffering. They don't want you to see them weak and vulnerable. So you're not going to see it. But the way that they choose to live and treat people will eventually come back to them. They will experience the same disruption and destruction that they have caused to other people. You may not see it, but there's always things going on behind the scenes that you don't see. There's always things that you don't know about. And I've seen it myself. I've seen them depleted. I've seen them struggling when they thought they had found something better, which turned out to be a very unpleasant and frightening experience for them. While they thought they were going to replace you. So they will be constantly searching. And they will be searching for you, but they will never find you. Thank you for watching. I hope this video resonates with you. Please like, comment, share and subscribe. If you would like to donate, my PayPal link is in the video description. Coaching inquiries, you can email me at coach.narcsurvivor.co.uk. Thank you for watching and I'll talk to you soon.